everyone, today I'm going to show you the hike to Chiquito Falls here in Cleveland National Forest in Southern California. Now, this is not a spectacular hike. It's not the best hike around. It's a nice hike in the middle of nowhere, kind of away from people. It's about nine miles, nine and a half miles out and back. And you go to a waterfall. Now, Chiquito, if you don't know Spanish, I think means tiny. It's not a big waterfall. It's a small waterfall. And I don't even know if it's flowing. It rained the last couple days, so I'm hoping there's going to be some water there, but you can come along with me and uh, see what happens. Now, it's not a um, technical trail or a really windy trail. It's actually, aside from a junction or two, it's pretty much an out and back straight shot there. But uh, anyway, in this video, I'll show you how to get there, what to expect, what the trail looks like so that you have some knowledge before you head out on the trail. Uh, otherwise, I have a full guide on hikingguy.com where I have the parking information and all that fun stuff. But otherwise, let me show you the turn by turns and show you what this, ha this hike's all about here. All right, come on. All right, so right away, you're gonna start on the single track here and it's a nice, nice trail as you come around. And it rolls a bit in the beginning, there's a little bit of uphill. Eventually you're gonna come out of the scrub and you get some nice views and you're gonna loop around to the left, hence the name San Juan Loop Trail. And you're gonna be able to see up Decker Canyon and Route 74 below you going up there. Eventually you're gonna come around, you're gonna see Long Canyon up there and you'll be able to kind of glimpse the San Juan Falls or Ortega Falls as you go down here. You can see the trail's kind of rocky there are rocky sections, so make sure you have appropriate footwear. And eventually you're gonna see this little side trail going down to the San Juan Falls area. You can go down there if you like. This gets really busy in the summer and on weekends because to get to these falls is a very short walk, so there's a lot of non-hikers here, just a heads up. But you're gonna to get to this little viewing platform. You can look down at the falls. You can see they're dry now. They do have water here sometimes, usually more than, I think, Chiquito Falls. But uh, check it out, then keep on going on the loop trail. Keep on looping around to the left here. Eventually, when you get over to the side here, you're going to start going downhill. And basically, the trail winds down to San Juan Creek. And you're going to wind down when you get to the bottom. It kind of goes has some ups and downs. You can see there's a little marker to stay on the trail. At this point, you get to the San Juan Creek. It's dry right now, but there is water in it at times. You're gonna to stay to the left here. It can get tricky. You can think that the trail goes into the creek, but it does not. You can see there's more stay on the trail signs and blocked off areas. This loop is very popular, so uh, it's very well marked. But for you, we're gonna leave the loop when you get to this intersection here for the Chiquito Trail. It's a neat little bench, and there's a sign letting you know where to go. Now, once you go on this, you're going to have to cross over San Juan Creek. Sometimes it has water, sometimes it doesn't. But you just cross over, and then you have a little bit of an up and down section as we go over here, up along this tributary of the stream. Now, this is a popular trail for mountain bikers, so just a heads up. And it is well maintained, even though it seems kind of out of the way. Um, so... Good to know. You can see there's a little bit of water in this tributary, but we're going to follow the tributary all the way up and eventually we're going to make the left and cross over it. This is another spot where there can be water, uh, but right now we're dry. We're going to cross over here. And now, up until maybe half a mile from the end, it's going to be all uphill or mostly uphill. And if you read a lot of other reviews for the trail, People say it's very exposed. Once you start climbing, there are a lot of, uh, or a decent amount of shady spots, but you will come out of the trees at some point. And when you do, you're gonna get view good views. Down to the left there is where we hiked up in that canyon. You'll be able to see Sit Peak in the distance. That's the taller of the two peaks straight ahead. There are some rocky sections to climb up. There's no technical scrambles or anything, just some bigger boulders to walk up as you go here mountain bikes do it, you can do it. And we're gonna keep heading up. And there are some shady sections, like I mentioned, there's some moss on the rock there, pretty cool. So if you are here in the heat, um, definitely rest in here. It's definitely not a midsummer hike. If it's really hot out, give this hike a skip because it will get really hot. 
and buggy. But there you can see Sit and Peak. There's a couple little, there it is, a couple little viewpoints as you go up here. And if you look behind you, you actually be able to see um, San Bernardino National Forest on a clear day. There are the snowy peaks. San Bernardino, Bernardino East, and I think Anderson poking out. But otherwise, we're going to keep heading uphill here. And when you get to, I guess, around 2,600 feet, still the trail starts to uh, level out, roll a little bit. You're still going to go uphill for a while, but there are little respites as you start of winding around the ridge. As you do wind around the ridge, if you look to the left on a clear day, you'll be able to see the Pacific Ocean. There's the blue poking through down there. That's the route you came up on 74 if you came up from the west. And eventually, when you keep going around the ridge, you'll be able to see Santiago Peak, Saddleback Mountain. A little snowy there right now, which is kind of cool. And you're going to keep going straight, kind of head downhill a little bit. And if you keep your eyes open to the left, you'll be able to see the falls as you come down and approach them. This is called Lion Canyon here. You can see the falls are not flowing. Now this is an important intersection. When you get down here, there's a trail off to the right. You can continue on to Blue Jay Campground. We're not going to do that. We're going to make the left and head over to the falls. Now just go straight to the falls. All right, so no water at the falls. I kind of had a feeling it would be dry. It hasn't rained that much here, but if you come in the spring, there's generally some water here uh, and it's pretty cool. You can see it's also not that big, hence the moniker Chiquito, uh, but a really, really nice place, sweet place to chill and hang out. And as you saw on the hike, nice, nice views in Cleveland National Forest as you do the climb up here. So worth a try. Also important to note here, I did not see one other person on the hike today. Uh, so if you want to get away from the crowds, this is definitely a good option for that. Now, if you're watching on YouTube, I have a full guide with uh, parking and maps and all that fun stuff on Hiking Guy. There's a link to that right under the video. If you're on YouTube, if you could do me a big favor and just click that little thumbs up, that will help other people find the video, hopefully do the hike safely, have a good time out here, know what to expect, yada, yada, yada. And uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed coming along with me on this hike. It's uh, it's different, it's a fun one. It's uh, a little off the beaten trail and I recommend trying it at least once. And uh, you know, if there's water here, it's a different experience. But that's it. Um, let me show you down at the bottom of the falls now just to give you a little lay of the land. Now there's that use trail that we passed when we came to the falls, uh, right before the falls, we're just gonna go down here and there's actually a used trail that goes up above the falls too that you can check out. But you're going to go down here, make the right, and just head upstream. And do a little boulder hopping here. And here are Chiquito Falls. Neat little sandy area here. You can see some little patches of snow on the ground, so I guess it does snow here. But that's the falls, and uh, just go back the way you came from here. Alright, let me give you a quick overview on the map before you head out. So from the parking area, this is the same parking area that Sit and Peak uses here off the 74. We go up around, so we go down a little bit here, see San Juan Falls, and then do a little descent. Into this canyon here where um, San Juan Creek is, and then we make the turn off the San Juan Loop Trail and onto the Chiquito Trail. You can see we go up this canyon. And then from there we go uphill. We move around here, you can get an idea. We go uphill and we climb this face of the mountain over here. We come around the ridge here. And if I swing this view around, swing this around, you can see we come around the ridge and we go downhill into this canyon, Lion Canyon, and there are the falls represented by that dot. But that's the overview of the trail. And I have this map on Hiking Guy so you can uh, download it, you can play around with it and get a feel for where you're going and what it all looks like.